Hi, I'm James Zappachi, and this is Coffee and a Case Note. Piercing the corporate veil, it's a really nice metaphor for the legal process of trying to get behind a company and to the people who are the officers or shareholders or relevant others in respect of that company. Good. Today we're going to talk about proceedings that got to the New South Wales Court of Appeal. Now to get to the Court of Appeal, you have to have a first decision. What happened in the first instance? In the first instance was uh, Party A sued Parties B and C in respect of a sort of clumsy commercial partnership dispute. As part of those proceedings, uh, Parties B and C got up, Party A, the plaintiff, went down, and so Parties B and C got a cost order against Party A. Now, what the court found was that Person A was insolvent. Person A is actually a company. It is a person of straw. And so what parties B and C tried to do is say, look, we've got this cost order. The order is that this company has to pay the costs. The company hasn't got any money. So we want to pierce the veil. We want to go behind the company to the relevant people. Now, in this case, the person behind the company was, there was only one of them, director, secretary, sole shareholder, and also the lender of $350,000 to the company. So this was a person with a commercial interest in the company. Further, this was the person who had directed the litigation to be managed in the way it was. So what parties B and C said was, we've got this cost order. It's against this company who's got no money, but the person behind the company will take the commercial benefit, cause the litigation to be managed in the way it was, and for various other reasons, ought to bear the brunt of this cost order. One thing I haven't told you is that in the Supreme Court proceedings, the first instance proceedings, there had been an offer made by this person um, in relation to a security for costs application where this person had said, look, um, I will personally cover any costs that this company incurs in the litigation. So don't worry, I'll do that. And what parties B and C said was, we don't care about that offer. We're going to chase party A for our security for costs. Security for costs is good fun. We'll talk about that another day on another coffee in a case now. But if we jump back to the Court of Appeal and we jump back to parties B and C trying to get our real person over here to pay party A's legal costs, in short, the application failed. What the court found was that the notion of separate legal personality between the real people behind the company and the company itself shouldn't be so easily shattered. And the whole point of corporate law, the whole point of having corporations is to give some, for want of a better word, insulation between the natural people standing behind the company and the company out in the marketplace doing stuff, including losing <laughs> in Supreme Court litigation. So what I hope today's quick little sketch assist you with is understanding the corporate veil and how difficult it is to pierce. And I'll look forward to joining you again, or to you joining me again, for another copy in the case note another day. Cheers.